Good morning, good afternoon, good evening all over the world. Dobson 777A here. I want to talk about Jim Rickards. He had been suggesting, actually he he was not suggesting, he was saying this would be a, a bad idea, but he had uh, been reading a book from the 60s, and uh, the name of the book escapes me right now, but it talked about a uh, mythical um, chemical composition that uh, if you were to take this vial and pour it into a river, it would freeze the water and then it would connect to, uh, you know, like lakes and freeze that and then connect to the oceans and freeze that and basically freeze the world. But he had used that as um, almost a prediction of what he expected the government to do when we go through a reset. He suggested that they would actually just start locking down everything, shutting everything down, forcing everybody to stay home for a period of time while this reset occurred. And I think they're taking this opportunity of this virus to reset the system. You need to understand that the terminology that they're using now is, uh, you know, like lockdown, essential only. Even uh, purchases now have to be for essential materials only. Uh, they're Vermont just recently uh, told the large retailers to stop selling non-essential items. It's funny, the government deciding what's essential and what's not, right? Saw some signs on some of these other uh, channels where they were even had like seeds in these uh, stores that uh, can't buy seeds. That's not essential. Well, again, you would think Growing your own food is kind of essential, but they're determining not. Now, this is um, trying to, in theory, slow down or limit the amount of foot traffic in a lot of these uh, retailers. There's nothing to say that you can't uh, buy this stuff online. In fact, I've suggested to you that it's prohibitively expensive, for instance, using the seed example, to go buy those individual seeds. But there are a few seeds that I buy individually because they're not part of my packet and it's a preference thing. Like I like a particular type of jalapenos that I can stuff that aren't part of the package. Um, there's also some uh, particular collards that I like that aren't part of the package. But in any event, uh, there was even some news that uh, since businesses have been shut down that the post office is now going to have troubles and they're by June they're going to have to shut down the post office. I hate to say it but I've been warning that we didn't know what the cause was going to be but I've been warning to try to get as self-sufficient as possible and it's because imagine you had a very large nuclear power plant and there's this uh, significant process that you have to um, like bring the plant down to zero to do like maybe a core change out or something, a major change out. Um, you don't just go flick a switch like on your house where you can turn off the breaker and it, it doesn't work that way. So a nuclear power plant is very complex and you have to imagine our grid, the way it's structured and everything. If we're having to, you know, do some major work, you may have to coordinate between multiple plants and, such. So anyways, this is kind of similar. They have to slowly close each section of the economy down and they have to um, at some point potentially start rebooting. Now, let me suggest that if this is the reset, we're only going to go back to half of what we were doing before. And I think some of the things they're preparing you for is like this online schooling we can't afford all of the buildings. We can't afford the utilities, everything else. Everybody else already has a home, an apartment or something. And we can do this potentially electronically, saving lots of money. 
Now, I looked at my real estate taxes and the school budget that was taken out of my taxes for the real estate was more than half of my taxes. And you got to figure out, you know, that the, uh, the city and uh, counties are building roads there. They got, uh, you know, jails to do. They got all this stuff, but yet the educational part of it was more than half. Now I went through the budget and I couldn't find, you know, the part about pensions and everything else. It was all rolled into the top level. And I suspect that's why this budget is exploding now is the cost of, for retirement is, uh, starting to get astronomical. And you've heard the stories of all the cities and counties that are going broke because of the pensions liabilities. But I also want to bring up the fact that we have a huge amount of slop in our country and it, you know, some of what you're seeing are like all of these restaurants, uh, people, everybody's been working. So husband and wives have been working. So therefore it's difficult to go home and cook meals and stuff. And so they had to create this service economy to supplement that. Well, look, if we're going to have, we're not going to need that whole restaurant, uh, service industry. People are going to be even like dry cleaning everything else. There's somebody going to be at home that's going to be doing that kind of stuff. And think about like, I noticed in Florida when I lived there, if there was a Home Depot on one corner, there was a Lowe's on the other corner. And this was like every 10 miles they had this set up. And then you look out and you see like CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, and you know they even had the pharmacies in the uh, grocery stores and then you think about all the food stores walmart kroger ingles public sam's costco and then you think about all the banks on every corner and you got to think about all of the fast food restaurants it's unbelievable when you look down the street every one of those places they're everywhere and then you got, you know, the sports bars and, and other things on top of that. And uh, so anyways, you start looking at all of these things and you realize uh, they're probably all going to disappear. This is all excess capacity that is going to go to half. Now this sounds horrible, but it's if we're doing this reset and we're going back to sound money, we won't need everybody working like they were. And we're going to go back to what is really a, uh, you know, what's important. You know, do we need, will you need two cars anymore? No, you'll probably only need one car. Um, you're not going to be driving your kids to school. They're going to be at home. You're going to need one vehicle to go to the grocery store to get what you need. This is going to be a massive change in going back to probably 1960 or earlier is the way this used to be. Uh, people will probably be moving back into multiple generations in one household. I've talked about this before, but now I'm giving you the bigger picture. One of the things you haven't considered is they're trying to now say, you know, what's essential. And that means that they're going to tell you what you can buy and what you can't, because a lot of these other things are going to become extremely prohibitively expensive. And another thing that's going to happen is credit will go away. <clears throat> no more credit cards. You'll have electronic money like a debit card, but you won't have any credit cards or it'll be one of those where you have to pay off every month. And if you don't pay it off, it shuts off. There's not going to be this thing where people are carrying, you know, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 on multiple credit cards. That's going to go away. Another thing is uh, companies will no longer have credit. Um, think about farmers. They will, on credit, go buy everything that they need. You think about all their farm equipment, all of their seeds, fertilizers, everything, and then they pay back the loan with the proceeds of, uh, you know, the yield of their crops. That's going to go away. You think about a majority of these stores, they will... Uh, basically get a loan to fund their inventory. And I don't think that's going to be there anymore. And that's why I think the majority of the stuff in the stores are going to be, uh, again, back to essential items. 
there's they're not going to be i think these mega store things are probably going to be a thing in the past or maybe that's all that will be here but it's going to be you know food clothing you know pots and pans that kind of stuff we're not going to have you know 60 inch tvs and all that garbage that's all going to go away um, so this is going to be a change not just at the personal level but at the business level as well it wouldn't surprise me if we go to simple interest on mortgages or we may just have to wait until you have the money to buy a house all of this is interesting I noticed that uh, we had the president has been meeting with the telecommunications giants and then today or at least I saw a video today where he was meeting with all of the um, uh, energy companies so something big is coming down something very big is coming down and they are uh, planning this thing step by step now this could be forced it could be because we know that the uh, petrodollar died a couple years ago uh, we know that uh, you know the treasuries that other countries were buying have turned into sellers and they were selling <clears throat> so I think our central banks started buying the treasuries which is you know are there they basically have a big massive credit card so the whole system died a while ago in fact probably died 2007 2008 and they put it on life support but the the patients probably died at this point so i'm trying to give you some insights of probably where we're going here i've tried to over the last year help you understand why you need to be as self-sufficient as possible and you know if you have a family that's in the country hopefully they have some semblance of you know chickens or gardens or whatever and it's going to have to all be beefed up because it's going to be different now we may not be venezuela but it's still going to be a shocking experience i saw some articles and i'm going to put some links to all of these things that i'm talking about in the uh, description like i always do but there was an article from some of these major um, banks that are saying you know we're not uh, going to be cleaned up by the end of this year in fact it's going to be closer to the end of next year i doubt and i'm projecting that we're going to be have half the economy we had previously and it's just because it's everything's been a mirage with all this fake money and everything so <clears throat> we're going back to realistic expectations I can almost guarantee you there's only going to be half the jobs available um, there's going to be almost you're going to have to have marriages of convenience now because for survival um, you're not going to have this ridiculous court system you're not going to have zillions of lawyers because we can't afford it if we're back to one salary and we we only have you know survival salaries a lot of this frivolous stuff goes away again uh, marriages of convenience are going to be the norm people are going to get back they're going to have to change their expectations because it's about survival now the government is out of money this, uh, this thing they're doing right now, it's just because it hasn't completely collapsed. So, you know, adding a 10 more trillion or whatever is kind of like a meaningless gesture. But I don't see, unless some magic thing has happened where, you know, they've gone and stole all the gold from the central banks or something, who knows. But I, I would suggest that this is more of a chance to say, okay, everybody, we're going back to a slower way of life and it's just going to be different. And it's and I'm gonna tell you those last years that I was working in my major corporate corporation, a lot of what we did, a lot of the people that were there, you could tell it was a jobs program. We no longer were doing real work, the majority of it. It was busy work, and it was make work and this kind of stuff. And it, it's sad to say, but man, we used to have to hump for a living. It was ridiculous the amount of work that we used to do and in the end it was just a joke so I think this is getting back to really the way things are supposed to be so don't be surprised um, if you remember several weeks ago I told you 
what was likely going to happen. You were going to see that they said, hey, you know, we're going to start closing things down. It's only for a couple of weeks, just a couple of weeks, right? And then it'll be a couple more weeks. And then, then they're going to do some more things to kind of clamp down even more. And, and it, next, you know, you know, it, that first couple of weeks has turned into months and then it's turned into, you know, six months to a year. And I see that is the path we're on right now uh, until something else happens because they're, they're going to use this for that advantage to uh, implement the reset. It looks like, and it may not be that they have a choice. It's just the bill is due now. So they're negotiating with some of their creditors. You can hear this. They're trying to get reparations from China, which might actually relieve a lot of this uh, debt that we have. Who knows? I, I'm not sure how this is going to work, but this is, uh, this is the end game. It looks like of the dollar and, uh, you know, and I, and I've done some videos where I said, you know, what if this is what you have is all you have. And it may be, that's where we're at. And, you know, to try to, I was hoping we could have maybe done some things with our miners, but that may not be possible now because it's probably the ice nine, everything's frozen. And, um, we'll just have to see how this comes out on the other side. So whatever you've got with precious metals, whatever you've got, and I've warned you about how the uh, uh, money markets are kind of freezing out new money going in. So you can see that they're locking down the system and there may be a day where you can't even get to any of your money in your IRAs or 401ks. And uh, like I said, your credit cards will probably stop working, all this stuff. Uh, it's possible even your debit cards may not work, right? So that's why I said you need to have some cash until they reset and start up this big massive system again. But don't expect it to go back to where it was. This is, I expect within two years, we're just, we're going to be back operating again, but it'll be half of what you've been used to. So this is going to be a long drawn out slog is what it looks like. Again, I'm not on the inside, but been around a while, kind of, kind of seen stuff like this before. Um, you think about the number of businesses that are closing forever now, just don't see it coming back. I think a new normal is starting here and it'll be curious, uh, what happens. All right. So, uh, I hope everybody's treating you well. I hope you're doing well. Do the best you can. God bless.